Hello and welcome to this video. So, as you may know, if you're interested in buying one, the new NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series is pretty much impossible to find anywhere in the world. If you were not among the first to order one, or even if you were, there is a lot of chance you couldn't get your hands on one of those sweet RTX 3090 or 3080. Also, you probably heard about the supply issues that NVIDIA is facing right now, and the fact that bots are everywhere to notify or even buy those cards on non captcha secure websites whenever they're back in stock. So today I'm going to show you a way to counter those bots by using the same technique they use, that means you're going to get notified in seconds whenever a card is available. This way you can finally get your hands on your dream RTX card. Before we start, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to support my work on this channel. So now let's get started. First you're gonna need a computer, Windows and Mac, and we're just gonna install the tools we need to start the software that will notify us whenever RTX 3080 or 3090 is back in stock in a lot of online stores. Now you're gonna add to your browser, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, whatever, and just type node gs.org so that we can download the engine that will be used by the software to run and we then can select the current version to get the latest version of node.js once it is downloaded we can download the second tool we need to get the software that is git so we're gonna get it from the official website just like node.js by typing git scmcom and now we can click the download button and save the file just like we did for Node.js. We can now install the two things we downloaded that are in the downloads folder starting with git by double clicking on the software. Then you can just click next until the end. And we can do the same to install the Node.js software. When all the tools are ready, we just need to get the stock notifier software from the official GitHub repository. So we're just going to type NVIDIA Snatcher in Google search. Then we can add to the first link, the one from github.com. This software project from Mr. Jeff LeCompte is open source under MIT license and is totally free of use. So to get the software, you're just gonna copy this git clone command you can find in the native installation part. Then you're just gonna go back on your desktop and right click on it to display the menu. Here you can find git bash here, so just click on it to open a terminal where we can pass our command. And finally you can just press enter to download the software. We can then go in the folder we just retrieved and open a new terminal by right clicking in the window and selecting git bash here. Finally we can type npm install and click enter to download the project dependencies. This might take some seconds, so you just have to wait. Now almost everything is done, we just need to set up in a file the stores we want the software to check, the country we're in, if we only want certain models of RTX cards or certain brands, if we want to receive an email every time a card is available, etc. etc. There's a ton of options, so I'm just going to show you a few, but you can check everything on the website if you need. First, we have the country option, so that the software can check on your local NVIDIA website if Thunder's edition are available or not. The software can check your local NVIDIA website on all these countries. Then we have the desktop notification option, so if you set it to true, you can receive a notification on your computer whenever a card is available. This is really good if you do other things on your computer and the NVIDIA Snatcher software is just running in the background. Then you can choose to receive an email every time a card is available by setting your email username and email password with those two options. You can also choose to set the max price in dollars for the RTX card you want with these options.
You can restrict the brands you want the cards from by typing the names of the brands you like and comma separating them. You can also do the exact same thing for the models, so you can choose the models you want by typing their names and comma separating them. You can also choose the series you want, so if you only want to see RTX 3070 cards, you can just type 3070, that's the same for 3080 and 3090. Finally, we have one of the most important options, the stores option. So here we can type the names from the list of stores we want to check and comma separate each one of them. Don't forget that you can probably buy cards from these suppliers even if you're not in the same country. Uh, some of them cheap worldwide or continent wide. So now that we have seen some of the most important options, we can finally set up the software with the options we want. So to do it, we're gonna go in the Windows search bar and type Notepad, then Enter. Then we can click on File, Open, show all the types of files, and here we have the .env-example file, so we're just gonna rename it .env, so the software can see it, and then we can just open it. So now, as I live in France, I'm gonna set the country to France as I want the software to check the French NVIDIA website for Founders Edition cards. I'm also gonna set the desktop notifications to true as I want to receive notification when a card is available on my computer. And I'm only gonna show the 3080 series as I don't want to see the 3090 one. And finally, I'm going to pass the stores I want to check, so most of them are Germans, but yeah. Finally, you can just hit Ctrl plus S or click File Save to save the file. We just have to run the software now, so to do it, you have to go in the software folder, right click in the window, select git bash here, and run the npm run start command. So there you have it, the software runs, tells you when a card is in stock and you can let the magic happen. Obviously don't forget that you have to order the product quick when you receive a notification so you don't miss it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I wish you good luck to get your card and just tell me in the comments if you got one. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.